Russian President Vladimir Putin said Monday that the deadly attack on a Moscow concert venue was carried out by radical Islamist actors, but he continued his earlier attempts to pin it on Ukraine. He cast doubt whether a branch of the Islamic State had orchestrated it, saying there were many, unanswered questions, including whether the United States was covering up Kyiv's role in the assault. Ukraine strongly denied any involvement in the Friday assault. We know that the crime was committed by radical Islamists, Putin said in a televised government meeting on Monday evening. We also know that the US via various channels tries to persuade their satellites and other countries that, according to their intel, there is allegedly no Kyiv trace in the Moscow terrorist attack and that it was carried out by members of ISIS. He added, we know whose hands had committed this atrocity against Russia and its people. We are interested in those who ordered it. We need to get answers to many questions, like are radical and terrorist-linked Islamist organizations really interested in striking Russia, which stands for a fair solution to the exacerbated conflict in the Middle East. Putin then implied that Ukraine, having failed at the last year's counteroffensive in the war against Russia, could benefit from carrying out an act of intimidation against Russia. He suggested the terrorist attack would logically fit with Ukrainian military shelling of Russian border regions and striking the Crimean Bridge, which connects mainland Russia with the Crimean Peninsula it illegally annexed in 2014. This wrongdoing can only be a link in the chain of attempts of those who since 2014 have been fighting with our country through the hands of the Kyiv neo-Nazi regime, he said. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky angrily rejected Russia's earlier accusations that Ukraine prepared a getaway corridor at the Russian-Ukrainian border, calling it an attempt by Putin to shift the blame to Ukraine while treating his own people as expendables. In the same government meeting Monday, the head of Russia's investigative committee said the death toll of the attack on the Crocus City Hall had risen to 139. Earlier on Monday, a Moscow court arraigned three more suspects in the terrorist attack. Investigators said the suspects helped the four men who carried out the assault on Friday by providing transportation. The four suspects arrested over the weekend appeared in court late Sunday showing signs of torture and severe abuse, confirming videos and photographs that had surfaced after their arrest suggesting brutal treatment at the hands of Russian authorities. A barrage of videos had emerged of Russian security agents torturing the suspects, including forcing one to chew on a piece of his own ear that had been cut off, while another was stripped half-naked and subjected to electric shocks with wires attached to his genitals.